Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you could paint black Templars. On record dawn, Prime Market in Dilfis finally allowed his legion to be split up into chapters. The black Templars were created. Holy warriors battling to bring the light of the Emperor to the unconquered world to the galaxy. They set out on a crusade to prove their loyalty after Dawn's resistance to split the legion. The crusade has lasted 10,000 years. These are the paints I'm going to use in this tutorial. Black is one of those colours that can be difficult to work with, having to rely heavily on highlights to bring out those details. So I want to show you how you can make black armour a bit more interesting to paint. To start, I'm going to be doing a light dry brush of ink by darkness over the entire miniature. Work the paint into the brush first of all, and then remove most of it using some kitchen paper. You then want to move your brush against any raised areas and edges. This technique allows you to bring out details of a miniature easily because the paint will only be deposited on those areas and edges you worked against, leaving the recesses and shallower detail in shadow. When I finished with the dry brush, I painted all the details I want to be silver with iron hand steel. I then gave these areas a wash using Norn Oil. I now want to get the difficult bit out of the way and paint the white shoulder pads the Black Templars are infamous for. To get a nice smooth finish, I always recommend thinning your paints first and an equal amount of water seems to do the trick. Keep your brush moving and try not to go over any areas you've already painted. It's also better to do multiple thin layers so you don't lose any detail. Let each layer dry and then repeat until you're happy with it. I'm also going to use a Corex White to paint the chest decoration and then the weapon casings. Now that's done, I'm going to paint the details of the miniature before moving on to the black power armour, starting with the weapons. I think yellow weapon casings look cool, so I start with some flash kits yellow. I then thin down some Cassandora yellow with an equal amount of Lamy medium, and wash this over the flash kits yellow I painted. And then finished with a highlight of dawn yellow. Because this is an Assault Intercessor, the shoulder pad trim will need to be painted red. I'm using Evil Sun Scarlet and you want to angle your miniature so you can clearly see where you need to paint. If you end up being a bit messy, you can use some Corex White to neaten up the red, it doesn't have to be perfect. Highlight the Evil Sun Scarlet with Troll Slayer Orange and the Corex White with White Scar. It's time for the chest decoration and all you need to do is use some Skeleton Hall Contrast and then finish off with some screaming score for the highlights. I'm now going to paint the pouches and belt using Rhinox Hide. I then paint a layer with Doom Ball Brown. Wash these areas with Norn Oil, then finish with a highlight of Talon Sand. If you want to be a bit fancy, you can use the Talon Sand again and create some texture. All I do is make the highlights a bit messy using the tip of my brush and paint a few thin lines in different directions. Just have some fun with it. I painted these parts of the miniature first because I knew I would be messy and I wouldn't have to redo any highlighting or shading I would have already done. I can also clean up all the mistakes and messy areas at the same time before I move on to painting the armour. I want to make the black armour look a bit more interesting and a good way to do this is by using some thinned down Rhinox hide. I'm painting this in between all the armour panels and recessed areas and this is going to add some warmth and colour to the black armour. I'm also going to do the same thing using some Doom Ball Brown, but this time just around the feet to give the impression of dirt and grime. The reds, creams, yellows and browns are all warm colours, which means they all work really well with each other. For the armour highlights, I'm going to be using Femrys in Grey thinned down with some water. And once I've loaded up my brush and got a nice point, I use some kitchen paper to make sure I haven't got too much paint on my brush. And when highlighting, the easiest thing to do is to angle your brush against an edge and run the brush along it to create the highlight. For the places you can't do this, be patient and paint thin lines. You can always neaten up with some of bad and black if you need to. Thank you. 
Highlighting a model can be difficult, but it does get easier with practice and it's totally worth the effort. To finish off the Black Templar, I painted a small line of white scar into the center of each lens and then used some athematic blue contrast to create a glowing effect. The Black Templar is now finished and I hope you can go away and paint that Black Templar army you've always wanted to paint. If you want to see how I apply my transfers, check out the video where I show you. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got something useful from it. If you did, please like the video, it shows YouTube you enjoyed it and it'll be shared out to more people. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.